Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Big Lip Show. And on today's episode, we got a little something special for you guys. Obviously, I'm trying to put the city on, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'm, today's episode, I'm featuring a designer who goes by the name of Bokomoso. And today's gonna show us his brand called Face 88. Today we are outside his crib. I say today a lot, I'm nervous. Y'all know what it is. Um, we're outside his crib right now. Let's go link up with the boy and see what he has to offer. So guys, we linked up with the boy Bokomoso and uh, we're gonna take a couple seconds to get to know who he is. Sitting here with the man himself. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and about Phases. I'm Bukama Shwab, straight from the Y. Um, Phases, we started Phases back in 2018. It was me and a friend of mine, Lavuya, but I'm running solo now. Been running the brand solo for a few months now. <laughs> do, do you have your first collection here? Yeah? And uh, the first oh, one isn't here. Yeah. When did you release your first collection? We released the first collection in 2018. 19. 19. Wait, so like when you guys like started, obviously a lot of people want to start clothing brands, right? But they never have that plug to actually do it. What was the kind of inspirational factor behind you and starting your brand? Um, I actually thought of getting manufacturers in Johannesburg since, you know, in Kimberley, it's a little business, not many people have manufacturing businesses and everything, so... <laughs> <laughs> I said, 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 I I said, 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 and then I hit my cousin up to find manufacturing businesses. Plus, I go to Johannesburg most of the time. And yeah, I thought it would actually work. Do you like initially have like a love for fashion since like you were young, or was it yeah. something new? My love for fashion actually it started in grade eight because in primary, my mother used to buy my clothes, and I couldn't actually choose what I wanted. So I started choosing my own clothes in grade eight. And that's when I started loving fashion. Who's like one of your biggest fashion inspirations? I mean, it's obviously a corny question where people say Jerry Lorenzo and Kanye, but who are yours? Yeah, it's Pharrell Williams, Kanye West. Um, yeah, I know you asked for one, but <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. It's Brent for yours, Kanye West, Pharrell Williams. Yeah, there are more. Yes. They on my list right now. So like what kind of what kind of vibe do you feel like you put into with um, phases eighty eight? Like what's different about you guys compared to other brands? Um we doing phases is not only a brand, we're actually a movement. We're trying to inspire people about brotherhood, sisterhood and everything. Our friends are actually family. Mm -hmm. We treat friends like family. So that's actually a movement and not only a brand. How did you guys come up with the name? Phases. Like, um, at that time we were at the mall chilling, discussing opening a brand and stuff. And then we were like, since like we are teens, um, there's actually a song by Nasty C also called Phases. And since we were going through our phases as teenagers, I feel exactly. You mentioned, you mentioned coming from Josie. Um, or going there a lot. Do you feel like you bring any of that kind of steez over to the Y, or do you want like, or are you comfortable with your brand just being something Kimberly centric, or how do you plan to go nationwide? Um, my fashion is inspired by most people in the states, and Ricky, Ricky, Ricky from South Africa, right? So it's only Ricky Rick and people from the States. But I plan on keeping it like modern, modern fashion, like in the States and something to represent in Kimberley. 
so that they can know that I am from here. Mm. Yes, sir. So, but you know, the, the thing is like, are you comfortable with just keeping the brand, the Kimberley kind of focus thing, or do you want to venture out into other cities, of course? And how do you plan on taking over these other markets? Um, yeah, I'm planning on venturing out, um, taking over in other cities. That's still something I'm, I'm working on. Um, I'm getting into other businesses right now to try and grow the business into getting into other cities and stuff, you get me? Um, and yeah, it's actually going well. So what's like the biggest project like of, of having own phases 88? What's kind of your biggest milestone or your favorite thing about your favorite moment in the space of time since it's opened and now? Uh, the favorite moment, uh, that's no question. It's the photo shoots, obviously. Like, um, my favorite, also my favorite design is the design we released in September, end of September, the end of July, actually, my apologies. Um, we released the oversized phaser sweaters. Yeah, that was my favorite. Right inside? Yes, sir. Gonna see that lately? Um, lately. That was actually my favorite. And later. <laughs> That was the best for me and got many views and we still, it's still growing, people still, many people still want them. So where can people, if they want your brand, where can they contact you? You can contact me on Facebook, Instagram, we have a website, it's on the Instagram, Instagram bio. The handle is faces 88 clothing so you can contact me on Facebook, Instagram and on the website. Necessary, all is dripping like I'm walking with Hennessy, shooting my shot, and I scored all the penalties. Your girl is my equity. All the money that you're bragging about, I gave that amount of to charity. Now that's just parents. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. So we move inside now, and we're gonna look at some of the pieces. Now, unfortunately, Bokomosa, you don't have your first collection present, it's sold out. Your um, this is your second. second. Second collection, um, he's going to show us a couple pieces, so let's talk about them. So what do you have for us here? Um, this was the plug hole in design, where we released uh, graffiti. There were two designs actually, the other one is also not here with me. Um, this was the plug hole in and we called the other one the color one, the color t-shirt. Um, it was also, they had different colors, it was an alien in the middle, mm -hmm. and we all faces 88 at the back, actually 88 in Chinese language. Oh, um, cool. yeah, this one has faces at the back and this is plug holding in the front. So what was the idea of this design? Like, what is there any deep meaning behind it? Not really. We were just thinking graphic tees and we saw something which inspired this. Then we just thought plug calling since it's like an alien on a pole. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. Good. Second one. And then this is the one. This was used. actually my favorite. When I saw the, 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 the photo shoot that you guys did, you, JD, and the Tommy. Mateo. Oh, yes, yes, I, I saw this one. I was like, yo, this is fire. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, we released this in July. This is the oversized sweater. We released it in July for, it was actually for winter. But time was against me and I was... This year? Yes, sir. Damn. So this is like a COVID release. Yes, yes. We were actually planning on releasing hoodies. But then COVID came and then we decided to do these sweaters. Personally, I think this is like a lot more fire than hoodies. Because like, where else do you get something of this material? And Kanye inspired that. This is, yeah, exactly. This is like low-key Yeezy Season 3 kind of vibes. Like the material and just... I don't know, it's just fine. Like, this, I would have never thought of this creative. Appreciate Actually, fuck with this. Appreciate that. And then the third one? The third one, this we released in February. Mm. This was for Valentine's. It's just staring. What the fuck? Oh. Uh, I told you guys, I like to take care of my son. You know? yeah. It's just all the time. It's popping.
vlog guys um, <laughs> I'm with Mr. Rigger Rick <laughs> You must end this <laughs> The off the party vibe Hello everybody we're back on the live show I just want to tell you guys uh, Lips, lips personally accept Oh no, appreciate The support and the love you guys give him And thank you guys man, thank you guys for everything We're now on the, on the, on the skirt, it's the after party you guys know This is what happens all the time afterwards uh, So thank you guys man, inspire us to do more videos Or let lips do more videos And just thank you man for the support Love you guys